In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a terrain model from a corridor and add an exterior boundary to that terrain model. As you can see here, I've already created a corridor in this particular DGN file. And I have here a 2D view in view 1, and in my view 2, I have set up to be my default 3D view. Now, the first thing that you want to do is display the corridor mesh. So to do that, I'll select the corridor and hover over that and bring up the properties. And I'm going to change the design stage to final top mesh. Once I do that, you can see that the display updates and I do have this mesh displayed in both the 2D and the 3D model. Now we want to use this mesh to create a new terrain model. So in the Civil Tools task menu, I'm going to open up the terrain model section and select Create from Elements. I'm going to set my feature definition here to Design Contours and I'll give this a name. And now you notice that I'm prompted to locate the element to add and I am working in the 3D view here so I'll go in and select the mesh from the 3D model and right click to reset that. I do want to bring these in as break lines. I'll leave the edge method set to none. So you can see that the terrain model gets created if we take a look over in Project Explorer. You can see that my terrain model named Corridor has been created, but obviously this area outside the boundary is not desirable. Uh, we really want for this terrain model to follow along with this boundary here. So the way to do that is to actually extract a boundary from the mesh itself and import that element into the terrain model as an exterior boundary. So the command to extract this mesh is going to be located in Tools, Mesh, Mesh Utilities, and Extract Boundary. And before we extract this boundary, I do want to go up and change my active color. I'll change that to orange. And I'm going to make that a little bit folder here just to make it very easy for us to find. So you can see I'm being prompted extract boundary select mesh element. So again in the 3D view I want to go over and select that mesh element and I will left click to accept that. And you can see over here that I do have this orange line which is the boundary. Uh, this is a line string. It was created. So remember it's going to be created using whatever these active settings are up here for the attributes. So now the next step is just to add this line string in as an exterior boundary. So we're going to go back to the terrain model tool set here and select add features and we'll locate the terrain model to add these two. And we make sure we get the corridor. So I'll select that. And then locate the element to add. So we're going to hover over this line string and select it. And reset when done. For the feature type here, I'm going to use the down arrow to select boundary and then data click. And as soon as I do that, you can see that it cleans up this area here. Uh, the contours for the surface are now following nicely along the boundary of the corridor itself.